All right, guys. We have some Edge stuff here, okay? I wanted to catch up with Edge to see how Edge is doing, and I couldn't think of a better time, and we ordered this some time ago, um, and it's kind of just been sitting here while I, I check everybody else out. Now we're going to catch up with Edge. And you guys, if anyone knows the history of the channel, you're going to know this website immediately, okay? Alpha Airsoft it is one of the earliest companies that I, you know, tried to reach out to and, you know, work with. And I've always appreciated them, okay? They have supported me in the journey, and I think we've helped each other, okay? That was the biggest thing, and it's, it's been a long time coming. So now that I've come back, I reached out to them. I said, hey... I want to check out Edge, okay? Because Edge is just it's guns modified, guys. Edge is guns modified times Alpha Airsoft, okay? And I said, yeah. And I told him about what I wanted to do. I wanted to buy some of the new Edge stuff. And uh, he was nice. What he did is he's, he, they gave me one kit, and I said, you know what? Let me match that. So I'll buy a kit. So I bought a kit. So we have two kits and I think we'll need some parts because I'm not gonna lie I feel bad for my friend uh, uh, Sam he, he had the <laughs> the list was uh, annoying to build because I was just telling him hey just give me anything edge okay I want I want to see edge and I want to do a ground up build okay that's what I told him so I have I, I gotta be honest I don't know exactly what's in here but I have an idea because okay so this is the the edge, the, I think it's new. Well, I don't know how new it is, but okay. Edge Mega Aluminum Slide. I thought it was pretty interesting looking. Okay. I wanted to do a pink build, but I don't think they had it. Yeah, look at that. Since 2012, guys. This, guys, this is where I got this. This, you see this, this version? There's only three of them, okay? And I think it was by accident that they did this. And I said, I wanted it. Because I played Airsoft that way. Okay. Um, so that came from them. So I have a long history with Alpha Airsoft. So thanks. This is nice to get. It feels nostalgic. Yeah, wow. Okay, we got the edge frames. I want to see how they pack it. What they do. We got the, I got some, some safeties for the Project Mothinity, right? Okay, guys. So we'll see. Okay, look at that. So we'll see how this, this is. Now, the one thing we were talking about, okay, see, this is an AM. So the funny thing is now, now I have a current one. This is Alpha, I'm sorry, this is Airsoft Masterpiece, guys, once again. Gusset Bro times Alpha Airsoft. So let's see what we have in here. Oh my god, they gave me so many patches. Thank you guys, wow. Okay. These are actually cool. Okay, I think that's everything. So this one is just going to be an unboxing, and the next video will start. Uh, take a look at it. So, you guys are going. This is a taste of. It's funny because we've been doing mostly CTM, all the 5K you stuff, guys. Is more on the budget side. Now we're we're kind of reaching. We're going back into the range where it's like okay, it's a little bit more expensive. Okay, oh, these are so cool. They're like a like cloth patched. I've never felt these before, but this I don't know. This it kind of feels special. I should I should check out what year the video was for Project Gunsit Bro. Cause they started doing really good and eventually I think they what happened is is uh Alpha Airsoft reached out to Gunsit Bro and they say, Hey, we want our own line and they started doing like they started doing collaborations, from my understanding. Very cool. I basically told him I wanted to build ground up. Okay, that's what I, I, I told um, Sam is the guy that I worked with build to build the list. And you know, I make it hard for them sometimes, so I, I, I apologize. <laughs> <clears throat> okay.
Okay, so we have the power barrels. Okay. Let's see, are these... Okay, so we got two power builds. Okay. We have... See, these are the edge. I told you we get edge, guys. Okay, edge recoil spring. This, this is... You know what's funny, guys? They didn't have... Five years ago, they didn't have this, this kind of logo. They didn't have any of these things five years ago, though, when I when I was gone. So this is all new for me. New, not new for you guys, but new for me. Look at this, the the old school AM brass. But now this is this is going to be somewhat outdated in a way. Because we have the TDC. Okay. We have edge blow back housing unit. Product produced by Guns Modify Airsoft Master PC. Okay, we got Edge Safeties. Okay, it looks like they do the standard rectangle. These are the Albatross ones. We got the Edge. I think this is Dio Domita. Yeah, look at that. It's almost it's not like it doesn't get in your way. This is the the front front that comes with it. Okay. Here's the loading nozzle. This is what everybody's been talking about. Everyone was saying it. we got a different type of trigger. This reminds me. This kind of reminds me of the nine ball trigger. They had a nine ball had a trigger like this long time ago, back in the Stone Ages. Okay, short strokes, recoil spring. We got guide rod, hard rod. Okay, this is probably seventy seventy five, I think. Oh, we got the beautiful QB hammer. Look at that. Oh man, it's so I love, guys. One of my favorite hammers ever. Uh, the first company that I think that made this was the Anvil. This is what I'm really interested in. Sear spring, okay. This is new. Uh, they didn't, Airsoft Masterpiece wasn't doing this. It's a new, new uh, packaging. Trigger bar still looks the same. It's at, this is actually new. You know what's funny is I, uh, I actually bought I bought this from a uh, airsoft mega store. Oh, I wish I had that package. Yeah, this is new. I'm glad we did this, guys. Cause now we kind of got an update on. Oh, I should have bought a hundred of these. I'm so stupid. Oh man, damn! I bought enough just to complete these build, guys. They they provided. Um, I think they provided this the slide they provided one slide and I said hey let me buy the rest and because um, I want to review it you know mm, I would have not you know that's my fault I probably would have not used a hard one we don't, I don't want to use a hard one for a, <clears throat> for a 113 it doesn't make sense to use a hard for 113 so I probably say we'll use it anyways to try it, it doesn't hurt to try it a magwell here. Look at this magwell. This is a crazy looking magwell. Which one is named this? This is the Giga Magwell. There's a Dr. Black in here. The, I'll tell you this, guys. I, I don't know if the theme the, the theme is going to be coherent, okay? That's the only thing I will tell you guys. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be, like, you know, kind of looking right. Because there was a lot of parts, and I, I was just... My goal, guys, I was adamant on, on just testing out Edge. It was Edge first, then Airsoft Masterpiece, if anything has changed, okay? So... Uh, don't look at it <laughs> color wise because I think this project is going to be all over the place. <laughs> We're here to test it out, okay? So this might be one of my my weakest looking guns, okay? 
Okay, well, and, and the, the 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 speed the speed QB one because uh, I honestly want the four three on there, but uh, you know I want to we, we want the lowest weight possible. Okay, but we're here. What we're here, guys, for me is to. I've been gone for five years, and I want to know how these guys are. Can I, can I, can I build around them? Can I uh, recommend them? You know, all that kind of stuff. Do I want to try them? Do I want to buy them? You know, these are. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to do that. Well, let's let's separate everything. Let's get Airsoft Masterpiece into its own pile right now. But Airsoft Masterpiece, I gotta be honest, it looks the same. We'd, um, I'd probably want to check the hooks. So what happened is over the years they would change, they would change the hammer design. But this is, I think this is more for uh, you, you techies out there. Uh, and man, some of the, some of the, the, I think it was like the, the first generation was perfect, and then somehow they, ch they changed the, the hooks, and they, GSB, I think it was either GSB or Alpha Airsoft wanted to change the hook i don't know who it was i can't remember how they like, please stop changing the hook because they would uh it would cause more issues and i know the reasoning was we wanted to, they wanted to speed it up for ipsic because that's their you know over there in hong kong guys ipsic is is pretty it's big okay so but they would try experiments and we'd have to <laughs> we have to deal with the changes um so like this is it's still the same guys but what i can say and you know i'm always gonna be honest is is this is cool but jlp and cow cow are much lighter in this this realm and i i just prefer the lighter ones um you know to me i want i want the lighter so they've stayed the same here they haven't evolved somewhat in here but what i do like is i do love their hammers and we'll see if these if these hooks have changed at all and we'll see how it works at you in conjunction with edge and in theory it should work just fine but you never know guys that's that's why i bought this for okay so i think we only have one magwell why do we have a fourth three site i'm gonna have to check i don't know if we got everything i should have probably opened it sooner but it's just been sitting there okay we have this with one front sight. Okay, let's put this in the back. Well, I guess we don't technically need. Cause we got one, so one's gonna get a metal grip. Oh my God, this is gonna be like so many different colors. <laughs> oh my God. God damn it, guys. Oh, this, guys, this is rare for me. It is very rare for me to not do a 100% theme build, okay? Uh, it's it's rare for me. I'll put it that way. Okay, so we got blowback unit. Uh, did I get... Okay, there we go. I, I did say I told them I wanted to build one. I wanted to show you guys how to build this correctly. Well, not correctly. Everyone can build it the way they want. And so we got a standard one. This is the one I tell most people to buy. And this is the low blowback. This is more for Ipsic guys, or people that know how to build their gun a little bit more different. Because you can't just slap everything in here and expect it to work. This is the low blowback version. The first company I think that made it was AKA or AIP. It was one of those two. Well, I don't think Nineball did it. Did Nineball do it the Fredo Wait? Nineball had, had they they were making a lot of blowback units back in the day. Okay, so we got one recite. We have both. Uh, we have the safeties here. Look at the gold. The gold is beautiful. Wow, this gold. I've never seen a gold anodized like this. This is crazy. Is this the steel one or the aluminum? I think it's the aluminum ones. Yeah. V two. Okay, this is version two. So we we got some different versions. Okay. So so far we got red, blue, black, gold. What was I thinking? Okay, we got a. We can see already that you know 5KU copied this, guys. That's 
and it was it's such a hard man it's it's hard uh, but it's normal guys they've been doing they've been stealing you know when I, yeah stealing copying for as long as we know uh, at the end of the day guys I'm, I have to and I will always review everybody because you know this channel is I'm not like this isn't a uh, uh, owned by anybody channel this is a me channel I own I own this channel it's not owned by a company or anything. I'm not going to try to feed you a certain narrative or anything. I'm here to test out everybody. Everyone gets equal equal rights, equal left, all right? If they suck, I'm going to say. If they're good, I'm going to tell you guys. And we're going to test out everyone as much as we can. And that's what you get with this channel. We get brutal honesty, okay? It doesn't suck that people are... But, yeah, they. it's the world, okay? They, they, they copy each other left and right. Everybody does. Everyone draws inspiration from everywhere. Okay, so it's going to be hard. All right, so we have a blue Dr. Black 4-3. We have... I think we have the Long Leg. Yeah, Long Leg and Standard. And I remember this was an actual different design for once. It, it was something... And this, to me, this feels like something that Guns Modify would do. He tested out first with his his first look, guys. His first high cap of mozzles, the Guns Modified brand, the, the the black ones, they sucked. I didn't like them. The very first one. If you've been buying his nozzles since day one, you'll know what I'm talking about. The first one were probably his beta testing, his early access <laughs> loading nozzles. So I'm and I've had a lot of Ipsic fans on Facebook. And then I know YouTube, uh, Rance and somebody else would always say, hey, try them out. They've been telling me for almost, I swear to God, for months to try it out. So we're finally getting to testing it out. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I wish I had bought extra. I would put one in the full auto just to really abuse the shit out of it. Okay, so we got that. Recoil strains. Are these dipping strains? Yeah, we have dipping strains. One ten percent and one thirty percent, which I I like these numbers, guys. I do not like one fifty. I think one fifty is overkill, and it takes more strength to pull it. And I think it's not. I don't even think it's that efficient. Okay, perfect. Ninety and one twenty. We know what we're gonna do. All right. We got the four three hundred. We got the Giga. So the only thing I really need is a grip. Okay. We got two short strokes. And we got the two power rails. So I think. And then we got the soft and the hard. I think we're missing a rear sight. Because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a four three style slide. Let me just, let's make sure it's not in here. Guys, these are for the mod vanity. So I bought one of each. When I when I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test them out in the frame and see and line them up with the pictures and see which one it is. I, if I had to be honest, I think I think it's the STI one because at that time the Infinity Mod Infinity was made. Infinity had not really started making all their parts. They haven't made the grip safeties and the ambies uh, at that time as a company. They had just, I think they had just split up from STI. Because STI Infinity guys, they used to be best friends. I think it was John and I forget the other guy's name. They used to be best friends and they're like, ah, and they split up. And that's how you got STI and Infinity. And they both went extremely different ways. Very cool though. You know, sad, but cool to see. Um, I'm going to have to contact them. Funny thing is, this actually works out for me because... Um, so we're missing a rear sight. We'll get extra loading nozzles. Maybe we'll order uh, two sets and we'll get extra plungers. So, <laughs> cause I'm gonna order like 10 of them. We'll order like 10 of these.
for it because I got, I got customer projects and everything. And a lot of people are right now, the funny thing is a lot of guys are trying to build, they want ground up from me right now. And it's mostly 5KU because they see, they're seeing that 5KU is cheap. Like For example, guys, okay, so this slide <clears throat> comes with the front and it's 109 <clears throat> which is not bad that's normal this frame is is i think it's 200 bucks let's check out okay so 105 for this this guy right that's what it comes with and you need a 4-3 sight okay let's clean him up uh let's type in edge edge And what we'll do is, when we build this, guys, we'll put the total of how much it cost. Okay. Here's the the nozzles are seventeen dollars. Blowback unit is thirty eight. Normal range. Uh, the guide rod is uh, twelve dollars. We didn't get the front side. It's not front side's not a big deal. Okay. The Magwell forty four dollars. Okay, where is the hex barrel is sixty, but that's the where is the hex barrel for three? The the frame is I don't know where the hell this thing. Oh, this is the frame. Uh, sorry, buddy. I don't know who that is. Oh, okay, yeah, two hundred bucks. Okay, the guys, look, they're, they're about two hundred bucks. This is normal prices back then. You see, Strat right here, one ninety nine. Okay, so that is it's very normal. This is what I, you know, like I've been gone for five years. This still feels the same. It's 5KU that has disrupted the market. Okay, they're coming in here heavy-handed and just smacking everybody. And that's going to be a hard, it's a hard challenge, guys. It is a hard challenge. Because now, to me, these companies, guys, these guys, and that's something we have to, like, you know, we're going to be talking about over time now, is these guys have almost, they have to be, for me, they have to be perfect or they have to provide something so unique, so different. Now I look at this, this is already beautiful. I, I already <laughs> I already like this. But now we're gonna see how it is. And you know, if they give me more details, if this whole frame was like, you know, 70, 75, 60, 61, or you know, and they tell us the grade of everything, then that's how you're gonna get more money out of me, is is by knowing that, hey, one, your machining is excellent. Two, you have a great you have a great history, which Guns Modified does, Alpha Airsoft does. And then two, uh, three, is the material, okay? Wow, okay, so I see you spent extra money on material, and you've got a good material, you've got a good coating on here. Okay, I'm, okay, I can understand that $200 price tag. But if these companies are asking $200, and they're not giving me that information, they're not telling me the material, uh, maybe I, I look at it and there's some, there's some shitty machining, you know what I mean? Or maybe I, if I buy like 10 of them and, and uh, more than half of them require work, guess what? I'm not going to buy your product. I'm just not going to because I can go get 5KU and I can expect that. But they're doing one. They've done a good job. The material seems to be strong. And three, the price is there. So these companies have to, for me, they have to perform at a higher level because 5KU has raised the bar. Uh, and, but honestly, I, I, So sorry guys. I'll put in the, the time. I'm gonna put it in all 
I, you know, what's funny is I, I put that in another video, and then I remember, like, someone put the, the comment, like, uh, you know, uh, 1451 or something, you know, like, shit my pants. And I'm like, man, I put it in the description. So read the description, guys. I put it in there. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, man. But, all right, so we need a, a 4-3 site. We, we can't, one of them, we can build one. Okay, we can build one. But this, oh my god, this steam is so all over the place. I, I don't even know what to do. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> and I know, guys, it, remember, this is not their fault. It's it's my fault. And I was just so adamant on, I was like, I just want edge, as much edge you can throw into this damn thing. And, they, and like, you know, the problem is, is I was getting so many different parts. Is, you know, they didn't have all the colors, right? And this is something that we, we all know, guys. It's so hard to, to get what you want from one store. We are ordering from three different freaking stores. The current project I have right now, um, RS, the Dr. Black one, guys, we, we ordered from 6, 6, X, 6 mmm, I think it's 18 Airsoft, and eHobby Asia. We have three stores to complete one custom gun. Okay, and it's a pain in the ass. And his is his is actually expensive. That's an expensive build. Even though we have some 5K parts, it's expensive because he's got a Dr. Black frame. Those frames are insane. Uh, I'm not. I gotta be honest, guys. I've been looking at Dr. Black stuff. I'm not. I'm not really stoked about it. Uh, I was reading on, on some of the website and they, they talked about using 6065. I'm like, why the hell would you want to use that? I don't know. All right, we'll save it for Dr. Black. All right. Uh, all right, so I gotta I gotta contact him. We didn't get the uh, we're missing a site unless I'm stupid. Empty. Everything was opened accordingly. Yeah, okay, we didn't we didn't get it. So we just need sight. I'm gonna order I'm gonna order uh another whole set of both. I, I think Rance was saying he likes the long version and I think that's what most of my Ed Shook friends were saying. They like the long version. And that's obviously to do with timing. And I'm pretty sure what these suckers are doing is because anyway guys, this is my first time. I've never seen pictures of this and I was like, yeah, look at that. So it's stopping it. Yeah, this is what you guys are used to, right? This is normal. You know what's funny? Um, Guns Modify wasn't even the first one to do this. You guys know who did this? I've already tested this out. I didn't test out this company. Uh, ask, correct me if I'm wrong, because I know you talk to me on YouTube a lot. Uh, didn't AIP do this? AIP made a, uh, it was called the uh, AIP uh, SS nozzle or something, and you would, you, when it first came out, it came out with this nozzle and a, and a blowback unit. I could have sworn I bought it, I did a review on it. It's kind of unique, you have to build it a little bit different. Um, and then, then eventually they, they made it so you could buy their nozzle separate. I could have sworn, uh, I'm going to have to go look for it. I, I, I could have sworn this was already done. I'm looking at it now. I'm like, it just it brought up some old memories. But I could be on crack. I could be on crack. I, I'm also old, guys. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Jeez, this is built all over the place. Damn. So what are we gonna do? Black gold. This is gonna be a. All right. This is gonna be a black gold, red build, and then the blue is just blue. Ah, shit. I hate myself sometimes. I hate myself. All right. Guys, look, our goal is just to just to build and test it and see how it works and how everything pairs together. Okay, that's the main goal. All right, this might be one of my ugliest builds ever. If I can think of something. I think I could do a like an American theme. Uh, blue... Blue bed. Okay, I'll, I'll do this off, off camera. I'm not gonna waste your guys' time. Okay, I'm sorry. Unboxing. We got almost everything. We need the the extra four three site. 
remember this new one is a 4-3 base okay it's a 4-3 slide very cool no okay i will see you guys later uh remember if you guys have any questions let me know uh this applies okay i just posted the, the ctm video today make sure you guys hit me up because i'm going to order from ctm one more time and i'm going to order from alpha airsoft one more time we're going to get extra loading nozzles because i really want to abuse them i want to put them in a full auto build just just abuse the shit out of it fast it makes it easier for me to you know abuse i've already been abusing this guy guys okay i've been shooting him full auto and you can see he's getting hammered okay he, he's <laughs> he's getting hammered here look look right here he's getting hammered all right since uh since i have you guys here and I already this is you guys see it's not okay let me make sure it's empty okay <laughs> <laughs> that was my full auto blow back in there was ctm super line uh this is the same okay but uh i don't know if that thing's gonna survive to be honest so ctm guys tell me if there's anything i'm missing or i need to check out and then uh alpha airsoft go to the website check it uh, nothing too crazy guys i i'm, I'm tapped out but at the same time I have enough to just to, small orders okay hopefully small orders loading nozzle plungers and the rear sight i think i'm pretty sure we paid for one okay i'm pretty sure i paid for one i know they gave me i think they gave me one of the slides um like a like a, a sponsor or whatever but you guys know me i'm, I'm not gonna kiss ass anyways and they, they know that too i've always been honest and they've always been great guys and i like them okay but i'm always gonna yeah there's no bullshit here i'll see you guys around sorry for the compressor i'm gonna put it in the description the time okay Let's put this here, <clears throat> and that's it.